ok learning outcome number 3 uh, describe data mining capabilities so what is data mining data mining software includes many forms of artificial intelligence system such as neural networks and expert systems what is data mining a technology to enable data exploration data analysis and data visualization of very large databases at a high level of abstraction what is the purpose of data mining data mining helps analysts to recognize significant facts relationships trends patterns which might go unnoticed otherwise okay common forms of data mining analysis capabilities number one is the cluster analysis a technique used to divide an information set into a mutually exclusive group example in the customer relationship management system uh, how this cluster analysis actually could analyze the segment of the customer information and identify the behavior traits of the customers called clustering algorithms for example let's consider the following case each point on the scatter plot represents where customer lies with respect to their age and income. Notice that there are five distinct segments in the data set. There are also some points with extreme values, which may be interpreted as outliers. Clustering algorithms find these segments in the data and label each record with the cluster or segment that it belongs to. Based on an understanding of the variables that characterize each cluster, you can assign a name or meaning to each of these clusters. For example, the cluster in the lower left corner that contains young individuals with a low income might be labeled students, or the cluster of young individuals with high income may be labeled yuppies. These labels describe or summarize the characteristics of the cluster and can be used to define products and services or offers for each customer segment. Number two is the association detection. It could reveal the degree to which variables are related and the nature and frequency of these relationships in the information. Like the market basket analysis, it could analyze such as items as websites and check out scan information to detect the customer buying behavior and also predict the future behavior by identifying the behavior of the customer choices of product and services. Bayangkan kamu memiliki sebuah minimarket yang menjual banyak barang setiap harinya. Dari seluruh produk yang ada, ternyata pet food kurang laku terjual dan stoknya sudah memenuhi gudangmu. Bagaimana kamu meningkatkan penjualannya? Salah satu jawabannya adalah market basket analysis, sebuah teknik untuk menemukan pola unik dari sebuah data. Misalnya kita mempelajari perilaku pelanggan yang membeli sirop, dan ini adalah data yang kamu punya. Hmm, mari kita sortir dulu data tersebut. Setelah disortir, kamu bisa melihat bahwa sirop sering sekali dibeli bersamaan dengan teh, karena keduanya biasa disajikan ketika makan bersama. Jika kedua barang tersebut dipaketkan, itu adalah hal yang normal. Setelah kamu amati lebih lanjut, kamu melihat sebuah pola yang aneh, yaitu sirop beberapa kali dibeli bersamaan dengan pet food. Karena data yang aneh itu, kamu mencoba melakukan sedikit riset dan menemukan bahwa di sekitar minimarketmu ada komunitas pecinta hewan yang setiap dua minggu mengadakan event untuk berkumpul di salah satu rumah dan pemilik rumah akan menghidangkan sirop untuk para tamunya. Selama ini, Komunitas tersebut membeli pet food di pet shop yang letaknya agak jauh, tapi harganya lebih murah. Dengan alasan itulah, kamu memutuskan untuk memasarkan sirop dan pet food dalam sebuah package yang lebih murah dan dipromosikan pada websitemu. Kamu juga mendekatkan posisi pet food dan sirop dalam minimarketmu. Produkmu pun laku terjual, masalah inventorimu terselesaikan, dan bisnismu berkembang. And then is the statistical analysis that performs such function as information correlation, distribution, calculation, and variance analysis. So it could forecast, which is make prediction and make based on the time uh, series information. Is the time that stem and information collected at the particular frequency. 
so the data that can be gathered through this analysis is more accurate and more updated and with that we have end chapter 8 by the way um, I want to wish you Selamat Hari Raya Aidilfitri Maaf Zahid dan Batin Hope that you have a good Hari Raya celebration Please be safe and take care of yourself Till we meet again for the next chapter Thank you very much